Hello, and welcome back to more Colford Plays Sly 2 Band of Thieves. My name is Colford. This is Sly. And we have a mission with Carmelita Fox. Look, Sly, for once, let's cut the flirty chit chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit chat. Shigaraki 090902, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your bear stacks. Welcome to the bear stack army. I'm not paying attention to the missiles. Oh my god. I can get myself correct here. <laughs> no, you're fine. You gotta be ready for anything when you're streaming, right? Okay, we have taken a sliver of her health bar. Meanwhile, she has taken all of ours. So, practice. This is a practice room. We're winning. What is that attack? Is that, like, undodgeable? Not quite sure. How's your day going, Shigaraki? Are you having a wonderful Wednesday? I thought it was Thursday today when the day started. Dodge that attack. On it, Ringtail, our chopper taking damage. Feeling not gonna like that. My day's been uh, pretty good. I've been streaming a lot, which has been damn it. Can I shoot the attack? Okay, so shooter, shooter in the app. Oh god, what is this? This is going to be a struggle bus right here. We are going to be on this section for a while, unfortunately. So everyone strap in, grab your popcorn, drink of choice. What is that crackling noise? Okay, we'll have to exit to the episode menu then and redo. Or completely close out our application, because I forgot it's the game, not the episode. Just give me one moment to reset. Yeah, the electric circles don't seem that bad. It's the eyeball missiles and... The eyeball missiles did, like, a ton of damage. So I guess I gotta shoot her in the eyes when she's prepping that attack. But I've only got two more, two more missions left, so... Woo, woo, we're excited, we're near the end!
Yeah, my day's been just dandy. I gotta figure out what I want to do to make it, uh, even better. I would like to make this a really good day. Are you a PlayStation gamer, Shigaraki? Are you a PC gamer, Xbox gamer? What do you find yourself playing, usually? Chit chat. Oh god, we jump right in. Shooting the eyeball thing. Dude, it does literally half of my health if I don't stop her from doing it. Sly games love putting like a super annoying section at the very end. I wouldn't describe the next section, the platforming section, as being that annoying. That time I thought I hit her in the face, but I guess not. Question mark. I think the best ending of any of the games is three. Three has by far and away the best ending with the platforming gauntlet. take those two hits than the uh really you think part three is the best of the franchise see i would like three if it weren't for some of the i don't know like i don't like guru at all guru's play style and his sections are pretty annoying his gimmick I think is pretty lame. Uh, I didn't enjoy the Black Knight level, not the Black Knight. That's uh, who she is in Thieves in Time. Um, what's her name? Penelope? The, the Baron is who she is. Black Knight before. I just thought the characters in part three were just not. Not it. Damn. One that I have you most decided for. See, I like the like the action stealth. Like, I like playing this, the the slime missions. Occasionally, I like a Bentley mission. Please hit the eyes. Please hit the eyes. Please hit the eyes. Please hit the eyes. Please hit the eyes.
Yeah, Murray in part one is kind of give or take. Fuck. This is like impossible. It's not impossible because I've literally done it before, but my god, I don't know how I did it. Hitting her precisely in the eyes is just so difficult. does help, but uh, I hit the lasers. I actually really enjoy Bentley's character development. Bentley's character development in 2 is like my favorite character development of the, uh, some of my favorite character development of the franchise. He just realizes, like, he can do things on his own. He doesn't necessarily need the gang. He comes into his own as a person. I think that's really cool. Well, this is the furthest we made it so far. Yeah, that's a good way to explain it. Bentley's was just kind of better done. He was kind of mimicking Sly and one. Wanted to be all cool. I do love the Murray, though. I have big love for him. What if it's only a certain amount of damage you can take in each phase?
am stealing your tip about hitting the uh, rings only once. Thank you very much for that, Shigaraki. Very, very big help. Where'd the clock go? Oh my god. Come on. I was right on the edge of the blades. Just give me the freebie. It doesn't matter. This is a pretty, pretty fun segment. I'll do this one as many times as I have to. Okay, that time there's no way I landed on the blades. I for sure landed on the edge. Guaranteed. Let's see if we can do it three times in a row. Yep. Yes, we can.
flashing before my eyes. Literally. <laughs> Where do I jump from there? It's always just a second too long. Got to him. Listen to me. Don't worry. There's plenty to go around. You might have a new body, Neela, but you're still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. Yeah, this tell her. Any different?
Boom! Neela has been taken out. We, we did it. It's an emotional moment. That thing's still kicking. Magla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. Yeah, shut up, Neela. The clock lock will know revenge. I am revenge. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Clock lock. Yeah, nice. Good speech, bro. Chip. Let's get out of here. She's about to explode. Ah, my glasses. Bentley. Bentley. I'll save you. Pick me up. I can't walk. Sly, let's get out of here. Please. Got our and there though. we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but Aww. I was surprised Shocked, really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours. 
a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. Wow. Tremendous game. Can't say it enough. Sly 2 Band of Thieves is... <sighs> I want to say a perfect game. It feels like it. Perfect moments of... Fun, easiness, difficulty, character moments, world building for the, for the Sly universe. Just a great game. If you've never played Sly 2, please play Sly 1 first off, and then do yourself the favor of playing Sly 2. Ooh, dance instructor on a cruise ship. At least he was saving the baby penguins. <laughs> John Bisson. That's my dog. Thanks for ruining the end of the recording, buddy. Well, that is Sly Cooper, Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Thank you very much for watching this series. We really appreciate you being here with us. It has been an absolute blast. We love, love, love Sly 2. One of my favorite games ever. And we are so lucky to have played it on stream. And we are so lucky that you are here joining us, watching it alongside us so um yeah if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe in the comment section right down below it truly does mean a lot to us if you decide to do so if not totally understand it's not for everyone um but maybe just give it a consideration you know it would, goes a long way uh, other than that be well to others be well to yourself we'll see you next time for more colford plays ta-ta farewell See you next time.